Hey coach, super excited you found us on YouTube um, in my messy basement, but let me um, tell you a couple things. First of all, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better, that's the first thing. Second thing is make sure you subscribe, go hit that little bell so every time you come on, on YouTube, you'll be able to, to find all of our stuff and subscribe, that is really important. Here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops, episode 43. Right? Am I right on the episode? Yeah, 43 today. Yeah. All right. Um, and what's today's topic, Coach? We are going to talk about, this came up in our Facebook group, of how to teach contact, especially at the, and again, at the youth level. I think this was geared towards a, um, this coach was coaching a, a girls team. And, uh, you know, I think that teaching contact with, especially I think on the female side is a lot of, it's just, doesn't come natural to them i've coached both boys and girls um and as i as i always say to my teams like you know boys will boys will run up run, run through a wall to get to the basket girls will are smarter and figure out a way to go around the wall to go to the basket right um and so but we want to you know we want basketball is a contact sport so how do you teach contact is the is the topic for today. Oh, so my guys have hard time with contact and we've started using the football like pad yeah. and mm -hmm. we actually I wasn't sure I could do this but I'm using it in my warmups. Okay. That's how bad we are at it. So I have an assistant coach underneath. So when we're doing post work and we're doing yeah. layups, I have an assistant coach underneath with that football pad. So um, I'll put a link down below. I'll remind myself to put a link to, so you can see what it looks like. Yeah. It's like a square and it's padded and you can hold it and you can I just whack them a little bit so you don't hurt. No one gets hurt. Right, um, right, right, right. But it, it's that feel of being jostled. And when we were in Florida, we found out that we didn't handle contact very well. Mm. So we just, I said, first of all, we're going to start doing it in warmups and yeah. we're going to do it in practice and we're just going to get used to the contact and we're, um gonna get better at it and that's we yeah. just have to um so <laughs> that was uh one of the things that we kind of lean into as far as as execution and stuff um but yeah, i think yeah i think they got to get used to what it feels that's right like, yeah um as far as that contact goes so we definitely did yeah we definitely did the same and i did it at the youth level the other thing that i uh coach my assistant coach gave me was uh the jujitsu ju sticks they're uh, and we use those a lot. I use I usually use those during ball handling exercises. Um, I shouldn't say usually. Uh, when I'm training, uh, you know, we use those when we're. How do you, you know, spell do... that? Jeez, coach. I, I'm just okay. So I know people are I'll look listening it up. right now. I'll look it up. Why? I'll do it. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in the show notes. Okay. So I'll send you the link. How do you? Okay. They, they work really handy, and it's funny because the kids always bring them up. You're gonna, they tease like, "You're gonna hit me today with the sticks," and I'm like, "Yeah, you know, right." It teaches you contact, um, and uh, they're padded, but yet they're well, they got some padding on them, um, and they're long, right? They're long, and so you can. I just tap in them like when they're dribbling. I'm tapping their hands. I'm tapping their shoulders, legs, everything to simulate some sort of content and focus. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look them up. Yeah, look them up and send that to me. I'll yeah, put I'll send that over notes. to you. No, that's a good one. Um, I really like that one. Um, the other thing that we've done that, so I noticed that our kids were doing fadeaway layouts to avoid the contact. And you can imagine what the shooting percentage on layups was doing that. So we implemented power layups, two-footed layups, and, but we had to teach them how to play through contact on that. And that's the whole idea. Like we want an and one. Right now, every team we played, we have more points per possession because we went to the teaching them how to take contact in the lane, using pads, doing a power layup, taking the hit, leaning into the hit, finishing um, versus the fadeaway layup to avoid the contact uh contact is tough though right you right um, we have this drill called continuous shooting and basically it's 
uh, three and three and or two and two. Uh, you scored a three. Uh, you have a shooter, uh, and the shooter's responsibility or the shooter just shoots, and the players, you know, wherever the ball lands, they catch it and try to score right away. If it touches the ground, um, it's a dead ball. He can't dribble um, at all, um, but you got to use your pivots. Everything is right around the basket, and it's and there's no fouls, right? So we're teaching them how to play through. And I've I've done this. I mean, I've done this uh, fourth grade and up. I still do it with my high school players, um, and it really just teaches them how to play through contact and try to score. Uh, in and around the basket boxing out i mean they're really going after it at that point do you have a, do you have a video of that i will no i will create a video and actually it'll be show better in a video but i will do a, uh i'll create a the playbook for it okay it's a good yeah, little I'd, like, I'd like to see that i'd like to see that okay you know, you've got time. You've got time to do that. So then I can know, put it in the show notes. Whatever you need, coach. I look up jujitsu sticks, shoot video. How do you, did you figure out how to spell that? Yeah, dude, isn't that awful? Uh, it's J J I U J U and then dash J I T S U. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to find the, the ones that I've actually used. Anyway, that's a good teaching aid. But it's not, uh, don't, don't put it in pad. You almost want to put in stick or something. Yeah, I'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, I'll find them. Okay. That's a great idea. Um, no, anything else with teaching contact? I think that, I think you got to simulate it. You got, you definitely have to simulate it um, in practice. Uh, you know, as I always, I always say, uh, uh you know the basketball is a contact sport it's not tennis right or ballet uh because we had a we used to have we have a ballet we had a two ballet players uh two ballet performers who played basketball um uh, great footwork by the way uh but you know we always used to they used to laugh about that right because there's no contact in those sports so we like this is a contact sport you have to make contact you can't be afraid of getting hit or hitting um and once they get that concept oh and then teach them i think this is another important thing what's a foul right it's and a great when, question and i'm not sure <laughs> depends on the game and the it depends on the game and the official and like i mean oh don't get me started i tried to call a timeout last night yeah and they missed me calling a timeout so we were on a little run we cut it to two and the ball goes in and I'm yelling timeout up and down the side. He missed it. I go, you can't miss me calling a timeout. I had the up. Well, I had, well, I, he missed it, but our players are on offense. You know, it was the second half. So they're on our side of the bench. I'm calling timeout. He missed it. I mean, he's literally standing a few feet away and I'm, when I call timeout, I call timeout. I'm like yelling. So he gets my attention. Right. And our player is just coming up with the ball. She's about half court. You know, when he calls it, when, when he finally hears me, when she's driving to the hoop wide open. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, are you, I, I, there's three of them anyway. So the, well, I, well, I, the whole... and, and the, and I saw the look on my player's face. And I said to her, I said, I've been yelling, calling timeout. I'm sorry. Like, you know, right. he called it at that moment. You were driving. Anyway, um, she was having a bad shooting game, too, and she had a wide open layup. But, uh, yeah, teaching them what what is a foul and what's not a foul and what you can get away with in a game um, is really important. So they feel comfortable knowing, OK, I can push or you, know, you right. can't extend your arm. I can get a forearm in here in this situation. Right. Um, you know. You got to let on a shot, you got to let the player's feet touch the ground before you can box out. Um, you know, those types of little details are, I think, are important uh, to teach the kids. But doing, yeah, like you said, simulating any any activity where they're, you know, pushing on one another. Um, you know, we also have uh, this, there's a sumo drill where you stand around the, 
the the circle at mid court and you have your players it's one on one and you put the ball in the middle and uh the it's basically a box out drill and and the defenders obviously are inside the uh the offenses in the outside and they have for fifth or for whatever what do we call it? like five seconds defense has to keep offense from getting the ball Right. So you hold your whole basically holding a box out longer than you normally would, but you're, you know, you're working on feeling and going behind you. So that's another good drill. And it's just like, and it's fun. The kids absolutely love that drill because, uh, you know, it, 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 oh, sumo. Okay. Sumo wrestling. Right. That's how they think about it. Anyway. And what do you do? You throw a ball or I don't know, ball sitting in the center of the oh, circle. Man, hold on. Oh, man, and, man. The, and so it's just sitting there. And then, you know, we're counting out one, two, three, four, five. Um, they have to hold the offensive player. Now, the offensive player, if they can get it in one second, they're there. But it was just working on um, that contact. And it's a quick little drill. We do it like you know, a couple minutes. And, and that causes that teaches contact. I like that. It teaches contact. Yeah. 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 All right, till next week, and we'll figure out how to how to spell that, and we'll and put find the sticks because they're great. It's a great teaching aid. Okay, we'll find it for sure. Yeah. All right, till next week. Till next. Hey, coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.